As Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr., a Supreme Court judge in the USA once said, tax is a price we pay to live in a civilized society. Taxation is the most sustainable and equitable way of financing development. However, many countries in Africa, particularly those emerging from conflicts, face huge challenges in their efforts to mobilize resources necessary to finance their development needs. We visited Puntland to find out how they were faring in this respect. Puntland faces a high population growth rate and is currently home to 4 million residents, 70% of which are below 30 years. This is partly due to the migration from southern Somalia and the bordering northeastern countries. The state collects 36 million US dollars in tax, though individual ministries receive some budget support. Most of this budget is mainly allocated for capacity building. As such, Puntland heavily depends on the tax collected to carry out its mandate. <laughs> you know, with the taxes, small taxes that are being collected, has happened because at least here in uh, in, in Portland, uh, compared with other regions in Somalia, in South Central, it's very peaceful. You have to have peace and security to think about even issues like taxation, issues of development, of you know, education and health. So I'll say that a lot of good things has happened, but I will not say this is the end. I think this is just the start. In 2009, a transparent public finance system was established. More than 67% of the government revenue is generated from the customs department, while the rest is received from the inland revenue. We worry about is when all these children now uh, they finish uh, high school, they finish universities, then what? You know, and, and that's how they can be recruited into, you know, organizations that deal with, you know, violence, that they can be, uh, you know, pirates, involving pirates, you know, and all this is because of the bad economy. More modest reforms are also put into motion in the social sector, particularly in health and education. The regional government has hired more health workers and teachers with major plans underway for schools and hospital renovations. Major challenges to the provision of health services are underqualified or unqualified personnel, insufficient health clinics and diagnostic equipment. Since 1998, there has been a marked increase in the enrollment in various educational institutions. However, three major challenges still remain. Insufficient number of schools and classrooms in the urban areas, low enrollment in rural pastoral areas, and affordability of education. Government is struggling. Government has no income other than the income from the port and the uh, export of livestock. And the revenue that is collected from the inland, inland revenue. But the inland revenue is not collected the way it is supposed to collect. 
According to that, you will manage your system goes on your own. All of the same thing is not a company or a company which you will be available in case where you are looking at a whole year, you are looking at a little bit of a market, you are looking at a little bit of a market, you are looking at a little bit Taxes are the same for things that are imported, and actually most of our food products are uh, are imported from outside, and this puts unnecessary financial burden on poor families. For the taxpayer, tax justice means that they accept their duty to the states in which they reside to declare their income openly and to pay the taxes they owe, as defined by the spirit of the law of that country. On the other hand, the state has the obligation to create a tax system that is fair and not regressive, a progressive tax system which does not put the burden of taxation on the poor, a tax system that is equitable and which does not provide loopholes for the rich to avoid which ensures that everyone in society is paying their tax according to their ability to pay. Secondly, the state must ensure that the revenue collected is spent in a transparent and accountable manner and the expenditure prioritizes the needs of the poor and marginalized. Uh, uh, the government needs to be very transparent and accountable to the people and show how these taxes have been collected, how much has been collected. And this should be a public information that anybody can now know and, and how that has been spent uh, in terms of regions, in terms of gender, in terms of economic status of the people. So all this needs to be taken into consideration. <laughs> كان عشوف تبيحنا يا أيقوى قاضي لا ماذا ما يرد اللفت كذا حيرو بعان طيب يرفت كذا يعني وعي قليل نعم هاي سرو سرو ما يحرم ما يدتك هاي شغاله وصلت يوم وحد يقول طبعا لي العكس وقت كذي الوقت إن إيه التبر ما صغير واللفت كذا التبر ما عشوف واحد هاي البرة وحي ما قبل لها حسن مختلف. إن بعد الجولمان has to come smart way of collecting taxation and raising more money. Because you cannot manage a government with less money. Because even if you have less money, and then even if you try to spend all that money by delivering what you're supposed to deliver, because of that capacity of the money you have, mm -hmm. still people think you're stealing because they expecting a certain things, but you don't have money for it. Because your money is actually very limited. So more money they raise, then the more things they could manage at least. If this is uh, started with the right food, it could be an opportunity for us to look at you know, policies that are very progressive and that will look after you know, uh, uh, the society in a just way.